Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another one of my crazy ideas. This is the intro to my new project pan deck of panning. Now, buckle up, pay attention. This project is a little bit confusing. However, I'm hoping as things kind of get going, it will make a lot more sense. So please bear with me. If you're new to my channel, my name is Emily and there is a ton of project panning content on my channel. I love project panning and 2021 is going to be an amazing panning year. I was also the creator of the Graveyard Project Pan, if you are familiar with that one. And I'm really excited about this project. Deck of Panning obviously refers to a deck of cards. This project is adapted from a booktuber's TBR game. If you didn't know, I love reading and do watch a lot of booktube. And when I saw Books with Maddie started this TBR game, like a game in which to choose what books she's going to read for the month. As I was watching through her playlist, which I will link down below as well as her channel if you also like reading, I was like, I could adapt this into an amazing project pan. And that's what I've done. I did ask Maddie's permission to adapt her game. This is her idea. I like adapted. Hers is obviously about books and her game runs a little bit differently because she chooses like I think five books per month and then she reads those books so it's a little different with panning. We are going to be keeping the products in until we meet our goal so each month or each update is going to look a little different than Maddie's game so there are differences but if you like reading you can definitely go watch her playlist and watching a couple of her videos might help you understand this project a little bit better as well. So I am just going to go over the basics to start and I will be creating a playlist that will be linked down below and there are also people participating that are on Instagram only. So the spreadsheet I've created will also be linked down below. There's going to be a whole bunch of stuff down there. Go check it out if you have any questions. And I will have um, everyone's you know, Instagram or YouTube channel tagged down there of who is participating. This is open to participate. If you would like to hop on this crazy bang bandwagon with us, we would love to have you. There is a group chat on Instagram and like I said, a playlist for YouTube. Again, bear with me, it's gonna be rambly. I will be getting into my actual intro and myself choosing my own products once I explain the game. So this is going to be a bit of a longer video. So. The basics. What you will need for this project is access to my spreadsheet, again linked down below, as well as a full deck of cards. I found these cute little Winnie the Pooh ones that were actually mine as a child that my kids now play with and they didn't lose any of the cards. So a full deck of cards and include one joker, just one. This deck came with three. I removed two of them and I'm keeping one joker in my deck of cards. The duration of this project is January 20th to December 20th. Now this video is going up a little bit earlier. I will not be working on these products until January 20th, but that is when everyone else is starting as well. But because it's a little confusing, because I want more people to join if they so wish to, and everyone can start at the same time. So January 20th to December 20th, that gives us a month off if we so choose to do a round two. And a lot of people like to have their finales going up for their projects in December. You will choose five products. This is a five product rolling project pan. However, once we get into the game board, it's not on for January, but there is the potential for a plus one which would bump up your project up to six products. I hope that makes sense. There's a potential to have more than five products in this project, but you are starting with five. I mentioned this is a rolling project and updates will be on the 20th of every month. 
For the updates, each month I will shuffle the game board, which again, I will get into. I'll pop up a picture of it when I'm talking about it, but there's a game board for this project. I will be shuffling it on the 10th of every month. For January, for the intro, it's already set. Uh, so you can, you know, prepare your project whenever you have the opportunity. But on February 10th, I will shuffle the game board. So that gives everyone 10 days to kind of get their updates together, whether you film YouTube videos or post on Instagram. You, after, for your updates, sorry, you will return the five cards that you chose from your intro back into your deck, shuffle your deck. There is a chance you would get a repeat prompt within this project. So say, your intro, you choose five prompts and five products. Say one of those prompts is choose a foundation. Now, maybe update three, you haven't finished that original foundation of your first five, but you can pull another card that says pan a foundation. So then you'd have two foundations in this project. That's an added layer. A, an added challenge, if you will, you may get repeat prompts. That's kind of part of the game, okay? It's unlikely to happen, but there is a chance that you can get a prompt two times and have two products in your project that represent the same prompt, but pulled with a different card. Again, it will make more sense in a second. Hold on. Okay, let's jump into what the prompts look like. So I am going to scooch for a second. I'm going to pop in what the game board looks like. This is the January game board, what it looks like for your intro. Now within the spreadsheet, there is a long list of prompts and those can be added to throughout the year. So if you have a suggestion for a prompt, please feel free to comment down below and I can add that. On the 10th of the month, out of the long list of prompts, they will be shuffled and the top 40, I believe it is, will then be transferred onto the game board once they're shuffled through. So not all of the prompts that are within this project are on the game board at one time. The ace, jack, queen, king prompts stay the same. So for an ace, that is a project graveyard prompt. That's a nod to the other project I created. That is a product that was in a project previously. Jack is a whole collection roulette. Now I personally do the whole collection project pan and have a very detailed makeup inventory. I know not everybody does. I'm not saying you need to make a makeup inventory for this that can be very labor intensive please don't do that don't feel obligated to do that for this for Jack you would randomize if you have a spreadsheet randomize a number that's the product you're going to be working on just like the whole collection project pan if you do not have a makeup inventory for example you can't really see but I have an Alex 9 drawer I could randomize the number 1 through 9 and then say let me just Say I got drawer number three, okay? Maybe I'll just sit here and reach in a lip liner. That could be the product that I'm working on. Or if you wanted to get really crazy, you could count how many products are in there, randomize a number that way, close your eyes, reach in, something like that. You know your collection best. You know how your makeup is organized best. If you just have a bin of makeup, reach in and pick something. Some sort of randomized product for the whole collection. That's for Jack. And again, these are staying the same. For Queen, random color generator. So if you just Google a random color generator, the first one I have on my Google is called randomcolor.com. When I click this, my screen turns a random color. Purple. Can you see purple? So if I were to get a queen and I got this purple, I could choose a purple eyeshadow, a purple lip product, a product that has purple on the packaging. Just relate this color 
to anything in your collection. And lastly, for the prompts that are staying the same, I have for King, an oldest product. This does not have to be like the actual oldest product in your collection, but say you're looking at all the products, you're already panning, you're thinking, I'm actually not working on a concealer right now. Maybe I should work on a concealer. Pick your oldest concealer to work on. Now, a lot of these prompts, I, I don't like things to be super strict. I'm not gonna tell you how to run your project. These are up to interpretation. If one of these prompts doesn't really work for you, spin it a little bit, make it work for you. Now, if you get, remember we put one joker in our deck. Now this is the wild card. I have this as, are you joking? <laughs> If you draw this, you need to work on a product that you really don't want to work on. You can't cheat with this. In Maddie's game for her um, deck of TBR, hers is a book that she really, really doesn't want to read. She has to read it if she gets the Joker. I have some examples. No cheating, like I said, it has to be something you really don't wanna pan. I have some examples, everyone is different. Maybe some of my examples you actually wouldn't mind working on. Choose something that you really don't want to. I have red lipstick, black eyeshadow, a loose pigment, a brow pomade. Also on my personal list, I have the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. That's my first high-end palette I ever got that was gifted to me by my mom. It's a bit sentimental. And also the shade I hit pan on took over 75 uses. So I know it's difficult to pan. So that might be something I would choose if I got the Joker. Further along on the game board, you can see that I have the numbers two through 10 and then each of the suits. I have heart, diamond, club, and spade. And each spot has, sorry, you can hear the kids has a prompt. Like I said, this part of the game board is being shuffled monthly on the 10th of the month. Now I'm not going to go through each prompt that's on the board right now. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask either in the Instagram chat if you would like to be added or down in the comments below. All questions are welcome. I'm going to kind of go through some of them and give a little bit of information, but again, any questions, I would love to answer them. Pop culture, this was a suggestion in the chat. Lots of brands are collaborating with TV shows or movies, like the Makeup Revolution and Friends collab, or maybe it's a celebrity owned brand like Rare Beauty. Maybe it's a shade that's been named after something. Relate it to pop culture in some way. Maybe in your favorite TV show, the actress is always wearing a vampy lipstick. I don't know. Relate it to pop culture in whatever way you can. I have seasons on here, a seasonally relevant product. For example, winter. I love wearing a deep berry lip in the winter. I also prefer very hydrating primers in the winter. Social media pics. Um, for me, I'm going to put a poll up, probably on Instagram stories, but you can do it on your personal Facebook if you don't mind, or Twitter, like some kind of social media. Give someone, you know, two to four options and someone else picks your product. There's a few prompts like that. I don't know how many are on the board. I have one that's a kid slash pet pick. I have one that your partner picks, whether it's your husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, maybe your best friend, your partner in crime, someone else like you, give them the reins. They can pick a product, whether it's from a selection that you present to them, or you say, there's my drawers, go pick something for me to work on. Highest rated and lowest rated. This brought up a lot of questions in the Facebook group that I wanted to talk about. Going back to the oldest, it doesn't have to be, like you don't need to know what the highest rated product in your whole collection is, but maybe we'll do concealer again. Check on a retailer that has maybe both drugstore and high end options such as Ulta. I'm Canadian, but I can look at the Ulta website and check out the concealers that are in your collection that you own. Which one is highest rated? I got inspiration for this prompt 
from the videos that were like testing Sephora's highest rated products or do I agree with Sephora's highest rated foundations? You know, videos like that, I feel like we've all seen them. A to Z shade. Randomize a letter and then pick a shade that starts with that letter. That can be a shade of blush, a shade of lipstick, a shade of eyeshadow, something. It could even be your foundation shade. Say I randomized the letter I and I had a foundation that was in the shade Ivory. That works. In it for the long haul, I put 100 uses question mark. I feel like that's what I'm going to do. A long haul product, something that's going to take you a long time. And if you feel like tracking uses, you definitely can. But again, up to your interpretation. Make this project work for you. Something a friend is panning. Maybe like me, I have lots of friends in the panning community and a lot of times while watching my friends' videos, I'm like, oh yeah, I have that in my collection and should probably be working on it sometime soon as well. Here is your opportunity. Holiday or vacation, a product that maybe you like to travel with or reminds you of vacation. I was thinking of like the butter bronzer, how it has that scent to it. Maybe it's a fragrance you bought on vacation, something like that. Matches your shirt. This was also a prompt recommendation in the chat. It has to match whatever shirt you are wearing at the time you are drawing these cards. So I actually forgot about this and I'm wearing gray. So gray packaging, gray shade represents another project this doesn't have to be a product that was already in a project. That is the Project Graveyard prompt, but a nod to all of the amazing projects that so many creators create every single year. So whether that's Project Polish, you put in a nail polish. Partners in Cream, created by Steph and Delin, put in a cream product. The Monochromatic Project Pan by Callie Fab. Maybe look at what color she's working on this month. Ditch the Discontinued, Laura's project for this year. There are so many projects that you could choose from and it's kind of to spread the love to other creators and other projects while doing this one. Fave Panner, that is a nod to Kooky Pans and her The Panners Pan. So choose a panner that you really enjoy their content and then match a product to them. It doesn't have to be something that they are working on, but for example, in that project, I'm working on a purpley eyeshadow to represent Paula. I feel like everyone thinks of purple when it comes to Paula's panning. She has beautiful purple hair. She loves purple eyeshadow. So I know this has been really long. I hope I have explained myself properly. I am going to now do the intro portion and I feel like seeing me go through the motions of this project will help clarify a couple of things as well. And like I said, if you have any questions, please, please ask. I was trying to like, you know, organize this as best as I can. And it's hard when things make so much sense to me and my brain because I was watching the TBR game and then I created this project. But sometimes the way I'm explaining things wasn't really coming across that great in the Instagram chat. So I'm hoping this video helped clear things up and made things make more sense. I, I'm actually kind of nervous. I haven't planned out all of my projects yet this year because this isn't starting until the 20th. I wasn't really thinking about it, but I wanted to get this video up so that everyone else can prepare. So I don't know what all the other products I'm working on in my other intros. So I'm a little nervous, but I have my deck of cards. I have my um, one joker in here somewhere. So where did it go? Okay, it's on the top. What I'm going to do is shuffle my cards. I don't, as I'm shuffling, I'm getting more and more nervous. And like I said, after you're done filming or preparing your intro, put your cards back in. Because the prompts get shuffled on the board, then you want your cards to be back in because the two of hearts next time won't be the same as the two of hearts this time. One last shuffle and we will draw 
our first card. A queen of spades. So a queen is a random color generator. I am going to draw all five of my cards first and then um, I will do, you know, the random color generator or whatever. Second card is a seven of diamonds is my most expensive. What are the freaking chances? <laughs> oh boy, okay. I got the Joker first off. <laughs> oh boy, okay, fourth is the eight of diamonds, which is a skincare product. And lastly, a four of diamonds. Wow, I got a lot of four of diamonds. That, or I mean, I got a lot of diamonds. Four of diamonds is something a friend is panning. Ooh, I haven't watched a lot of intros. This is going to take me a minute. So first, the first card I got was the Queen of Hearts, which means that is the random color generator. So it's still on the wine color from when I was explaining the project. So I'm going to refresh the page. And that is, I don't know if you can really tell, it's actually a navy blue. It's a deep blue blue shade. So again, that is product shade or packaging. I need to take a minute and select my five products and come back. I do have to keep in mind I have the Joker, which is going to be a long-term product. It just, it just is. Um, so I think I'm going to try and maybe pick two like gimme products or easier products so that we can keep this project rolling. Now the rest of my cards are going to you know stay here and after you know this intro is done or whatever for the next update these including the Joker are going back in my deck to be shuffled and then draw okay I'm not going to do it right now because I need these for reference but say I've added them to the deck, this is the first update, shuffle again, say you finished two products, and then you know the next two on the top after you shuffle are your roll-ins. Now, like I said, the game board is going to be shuffled, so even if, say I pull the four of diamonds again, it won't be the same prompt in that spot on the board. Now, however, what was the four of diamonds? Something a friend is panning. Maybe the, let me just pick a random card. Maybe next time, not a queen, I pull 10 of hearts. Potentially the 10 of hearts might have something a friend is panning in this spot for the next update. So then I'd be working on two products that friends are panning. I hope that makes sense. Okay, now I'm going to pause, choose my products, and then come back and show you the five products I will be working on to start off this project this year. Okay guys, I have chosen my products. I'm feeling really apprehensive, especially about the Joker. Obviously the intention with that one is, are you joking? Something you really don't want to pan. And every time I was like, okay, I already have, I am already working on this type of thing. Ooh, look at this giant gel eyeliner. Ooh, I don't want to pan that. <laughs> Which is like the point. So I had a hard time finally settling on a product for that. Also for something a friend is panning, I'm so behind on watching everyone's videos. So I remembered that I just saw It's Just Steph post her rolling 10 pan. Sorry Steph, I haven't actually watched it yet, though I probably have by the time this goes up. I creeped in her description box and saw a product that I also have. And 
Also most expensive is really hard because I was thinking of a few categories, but every time I went to check my makeup inventory, which does have the prices, I'd be like, ooh, that one's the most expensive. No, don't want to work on that this year or just yet. So anyways, I had quite the challenging time choosing my products, but now I'm going to shut up and tell you what they are. For the Queen, the random color generator, you guys remember I got like a really deep navy blue. It could be packaging as well, but this is the product that first popped into my mind and I thought I'd just grab onto it and get it done even though it's going to be really challenging. I chose a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. This is their matte formula, which is not my favorite, in the shade Baby Tea. This is a very, very deep navy blue. Now there's already a bit of a dip. My goal with this will be to hit pan. With the Super Shock Shadows, I do try my best to run my finger across the entire top. I don't dig my finger down in there. But there is already a dip. This actually does have quite a lot of use from me already. It's older in my collection. I would like to hit pan on this. That sounded like a child fell down. Seven of diamonds was, let me go back, my most expensive. I was thinking of my most expensive concealer, but that was the Too Faced Born This Way, like the really huge half an ounce one. I then looked at foundations and that was a newer one. Same with primer. The primer one was like my newest primer that I've never used before. So I don't want to set myself up for failure while also having the Joker in here. So my most expensive powder is the Becca Hydra Set and Refresh Powder. This is older my collection. I'm sure it doesn't have the cooling sensation anymore. I haven't used this in a very long time, so it might very well be expired. If I discover that it is expired very early on, like I'm going to use these on the 20th and on, I'm sorry you can hear my elephant children above. Um, I will just switch it like right from the beginning to a, a most expensive of another category. Um, I won't redraw a card, but I don't want it to be a wasted space either. Like I want to start working on these products. So if I, I will take pictures of everything. I'm about halfway. It comes about halfway. Like I've only used this maybe a dozen times in its lifetime. Um, We'll see. We'll see if I can get this finished this year in this project or if it's even, you know, good. <laughs> Next, I pulled the Joker. Are you joking? So as I mentioned, I had a few ideas for products you may choose, but it really is personal to you. Like what in your collection do you really not want to work on? I really don't want to pan a lipstick and I do want it to be like pan. I don't want to be like, oh, I'll use a red lipstick five times and that will be my Joker card. Like, no, it needs to be something hard. It needs to be, are you joking? So I actually already rolled in a red lipstick in a different project anyways. And then I was looking at my pigments and, and dang, those are full. <laughs> and my one pomade is looking a little dry. I don't even know. Like, I, I really need to go through and check expiration dates and test out products like 2020 I'm sure a lot of things went bad without me even realizing so as I was digging through I did settle on I know I mentioned this when I was explaining this project this palette has a lot of sentimental value to me it was my first high-end um, eyeshadow palette I was gonna say makeup right now but it wasn't my first high-end eyeshadow palette it was gifted to me from my mom for Christmas one year and I asked for it. I never spent this much money on makeup before and it just is really special to me. Now, a shade in this was rolled into, I believe it was the whole collection project pan, pop. And this took me over 75 uses to hit pan. So not only is this palette sentimental, but it takes a forever to hit pan. At least it does for me. I haven't chosen a shade yet. I think I want to like play around with this and also see what eyeshadows are getting pulled into my other projects, which are actually going to be starting before this one, before I settle on a shade because I have 
what almost three weeks before this project actually starts so I will be trying to hit pan in a shade I'm kind of out of frame in this palette I already have one pan it would be good to see more use on this as it is the oldest high-end eyeshadow palette I have in my collection I mean this is a collaboration that was in like 2015 I think like you know this palette is old I just I don't know what shade I'm choosing yet but this is what the palette looks like then I chose or I drew the card eight of diamonds which is a skincare product I actually just filmed today as well my whole collection project pan finale and I was working on the dr. Brandt pores no more vacuum cleaner so it was like already sitting on my little table here and I was talking in that video about how this isn't my favorite I don't feel like it is all that pore purifying it's also from a non cruelty free brand which I am obviously trying to work through those within my collection. I'm continuing my cruelty free journey here on my channel and why I pan so much. And I was also saying that I think this is getting pretty empty. I don't know how many more uses are left in here, but it would feel really amazing to get this out early on in the year. And out of everything I'm looking at, I think this is a product I will finish first and then it, like it's most fun to be able to draw in new cards each update, right? So this is kind of my gimme product. I don't know how many uses are in here, but I hope to have this finished by the first update. And lastly, something a friend is panning. Like I mentioned, I, I'm so behind on watching videos, but I checked the description box of It's Just Steph's Rolling 10 Pan Project she just introduced. Haven't watched the video yet, but I saw that she is working on her Touch and Soul No Pore Blum Primer, and I said, oh, I have that one and I actually really enjoy it so it was just I'm sure a bunch of other friends of mine are going to be working on products that I could have chosen and maybe I'll get this prompt again later in the project but this is the first product I saw and since I don't have a bunch of time to wait go watch a ton of my friends videos and then come back um, as we are at the beginning of the year I feel like this prompt would be easier as the year goes on rather than I'm waiting for all my friends to post their intros. This is just January 2nd, so there's a ton more intros to come. And most of what I've seen are eyeshadow projects that have started so far, and I don't have the bandwidth for any more eyeshadows. That's a long-winded response to say that I too will be working on the Touch and Soul No Pore Blum Primer. Mine was laying down. I will mark it once it has settled. I will not be using this until January 20th, but my hope will be to finish this product as well. So I have three products in which I hope to finish and get out of my makeup inventory and two eyeshadow products that I hope to hit pan on. So that is everything for my deck of panning intro. Thank you so much for sticking with me. I'm really excited about this project and I hope that you guys are excited about it too. I know it seemed really complicated when I was explaining things, but I hope as you watched me choose my cards and my products it made a bit more sense and I'm going to say for like the fifth time if you have any questions please please don't hesitate to ask you can write it in the comments you can message me on Instagram or Twitter or I'm on Facebook as well just don't feel lost in this project I'm here to answer your questions and make this as fun as I can. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, especially if I'm being smart and strategic and being able to choose new cards throughout the year. I'm really excited about all of my projects for 2021. It's going to be an amazing year for panning. I'm ready to really kick my own makeup collections butt because I have so many old and expiring products in there that I just need to focus on and get out. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up so that I know. I hope to see your intros on January 20th. I can't wait to watch them all. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.